Hey guys, in this tutorial, I would like to show you a workflow how to use BOK to go data to prepare your personal, mobile, augmented reality application. Argumented reality or AR applications enhance real-world experiences by augmenting a user visual perception with the display of digital content in the physical world. AR's ability to wave context-specific 3D information into physical spaces provides endless opportunities to save time, improve performance and reduce cost across a wide range of industries and applications, from surveying, construction, public safety, manufacturing, maintenance, training and navigation applications. In 2021, Hexagon acquires an innovator of spatial mapping and visual positioning solutions for producing augmented reality applications, the Immersal Company. These guys have an SDK that allows you to build centimeter accurate persistent multi-user AR applications that can be used on AR-capable mobile devices and with glasses. Their technology uses images from any device to extract features and you could try it by yourself just with your phone. There is a free option for that workflow, but it has some limits on capacity. If you want to use an unlimited version with blk to go file support, you should get the enterprise license from them. But you could take it for free to test it, just message to the Mersal team. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to combine the Leica blk to go handheld scanner with the Mersal SDK. First that you need to do is scan your area with the blk to go handheld scanner. The scanning process is very simple. You should do the below steps. Put the scanner on the platform and turn on it. Open build kit to go live mobile application and connect it to the scanner. Push the power button to start the scanning. Walk around your area with the scanner. Go back to the starting position and put the scanner on the platform. Keep in mind that the Immersal SDK uses images to extract features, so be sure the pictures will be good. Avoid these issues. Redundant object, your face on the picture and other person that walk with you. Parts of vehicle if you use it for the movement. Avoid too fast movements, pictures could look blurred. Avoid too dark areas, could be not enough data to extract features. Generally, it's basic recommendation for scanning also because for the VIS requirements are almost the same. So you could use the below link to download the best practices guide for build kit to go The next step is to download data from the scanner and use it to digitize the current environment and for creating maps that will be used by the mobile application. You could use the build kit data manager to download the data from your device. This simple lightweight utility is designed to help you quickly download data from your BLK and make minor modification to your device. Run this tool, choose your device and click the connect button. Select required scans and click the download button. After downloading, you will get the B2G files that should be uploaded to different places, depending on their purpose. It could be a immersive development portal to extract features and create a map file or register 360 to prepare the data and send it further to another the software for creating deliverables. So if you already have some object that you want to add to your scene, or you could use this workflow. Download data from BLK Data Manager, import it to, into Immersal Portal, use the map created by Immersal Portal and any other 3D object created in other software in Unity 3D for creating a mobile application. Install the mobile application to your phone or tablet to use the AR. But if you want to use the point cloud from blk to go to create some content that should be placed into your scene, then you should prepare the data in register family software and bring all files to Cyclone 3D or cuts to extract the required materials. I will show you the second scenario with creating some 3D content which could be used in your scene. To prepare the data, I'll be using register 360. I have a clean point cloud and only one track, so I don't need to clean the data or use the registration tool. So I'll skip this part on how to work with blk to to go data in register 360. You could find many tutorials on YouTube how to do that. Let's export the data to LGS format and import it into Cyclone 3D for analysis and convert it to native Cyclone 3D point cloud. One of the latest feature added to Cyclone 3D is the progress monitoring tool, which helps you to identify which parts of a construction site have been built or not by analyzing the coverage of the scan on a beam model. So let's import the beam model, which should be analyzed in Cyclone 3D be using the IFC format for that. Most of the time the BIM files contain the full assembly of the object so you could just select only require it and import only them. Drag and drop the IFC files to the Cyclone 3 window, select required elements, select 
at least one cloud and a beam object, then launch the progress monitoring command. Set percentage of coverage threshold for considering the sub-element is incomplete, not installed, and installed. Left on the screen only not installed elements and export them to FBX format. As you could see in my case, all engineering was not installed and was called gray. The software marks them as undefined because they don't have relevant points in a defined radius. But some of them were colored red because they got some overlapping points. So I separate them into different folders for easily management. For one more application, I modeled some elements inside the wall to imitate the scenario when you make scans on different construction stages. So we could see the number, types and position of elements that was installed before the wall was covered finished layer. I combined all elements in Cyclone 3D just to be sure that all of them were in the same coordinate system and then export them to FBX format. One of the main objects that will be needed for creating an AR navigation application is the flow surface, which will be used for calculating the closest trajectory to the specified point. There are different ways how to create it. I decided just to draw manually simple contour for the required area, extract best plane from the ground points and convert it to the mesh object and cut the mesh with the contour and the next export it to FBX also. The next step is to combine all materials in Unity 3D and build your own mobile application. For that you will need to install the below components Unity Hub, Unity Engine, Immersal SDK, Immersal Sample Projects. Install Unity 3D with default settings and install the Immersal SDK from the developers immersal.com and after that download from the same page the sample project that will be suitable for your device. It could be Android, Huawei, iOS, etc. Add it to Unity Hub and run it. Detailed information about the installation and capabilities of the Immersal SDK you could find in the below resources. Developer portal, git book with instruction about SDK, Vimeo channel with tutorials and prom materials, and Discord group where you could ask any advice from other users and developers. A few words about the Immersal Developer Portal. You will get access here after registration and the main use for the Developer Portal is to download and manage your maps constructed using the Immersal Mapper mapping application or automatically generated from B2G files. You can also find links to the latest SDK core package and Unity sample projects in the portal. When you will get access to the Developer Portal, click the Upload B2G button and choose your build kit to go files. After proceeding the data, uh, you will see that now there are some files that have appeared. Download the files with the bytes extension. This is the actual map file used by Immersal SDK for localization. Now you have all that you need to start creating your own AI application in Unity 3D. Make the next steps in the below order. Run the Unity Hub and add the project with samples from Immersal. Open it and load all packages that the software will ask you to add. After everything will be loaded, go to Asset Immersal SDK Samples Scene folder and double click on the navigation sample. Add created and Cyclone 3D models to some folder, add created map from build kit to go to any folder and replace AR map in your scene. Align the model and map if you change the coordinate system in Rarest 360. If you didn't touch it, then the map and model should be aligned automatically. Delete the existing mesh floor and add your floor to the AR space, select it and change its layer to navigation. And I recommend you disable the visibility visibility of this floor. For that, switch rendering layer mask to nothing for that object. Select the generate nav mesh surface file, click clear and bake to generate a new surface for navigation. It will be based on your floor. Change name and location of navigation markers, add your materials to your object. I added a red transparent color for the elements that clash with the existing objects, orange transparent material for elements inside the wall, and other colors for not installed elements. After all required elements will be added to your scene, you could start to build your application. Go to File, Build Settings, choose the required platform and click Build. I used an Android template to test this application, so I built the Android version and I deleted all scenes in Build except Navigation Sample, because I didn't use them right now. Next click the Build button, the Unity 3D will generate an APK file that you should copy and install on your Android device. When you will run the application, it requires a few seconds to define your position in the Space and after it will be done, you will see the successful optimization green icon.
Now you could see on your screen all added models. Orange for inside wall elements, red for clashes and other colors for non-installed objects. In the navigation sample, you also could select one of your navigation markers and the application will generate the closest route to your target and avoid obstacles because previously we generated flow mesh only in areas where it's possible to walk. You could use this sample for different scenarios which will require visualizing the routes to different places. Immersal team creates samples for different scenarios which you could find there. Multiplayer sample, mapping sample, content placement and others. Go to the Discord channel to see how users create different applications. As you could see, it's not so hard to create your own AI application and you should remember that in theory the Immersal SDK could work with any imaging devices. So if you have some specific task, just discuss it with the Immersal team. They will help you to find the right solution. But if you use the BLK to go scanner, it will expand your capabilities because it delivers to you not only images, but also accurate point clouds. I hope this video will be helpful for your task and I would like to know your opinion about implementation of augmented reality in real applications. So I also would like to know your ideas about how else we could use it. Put in the comments any ideas about it. For today that's all. Thanks for watching and see you next time.